Hello, my name is Shelby Kohler of Earth Heart Herbal. I am a clinical herbalist and forager who is passionate about nature connection and connecting plants and people. I received my herbalist training from Eclectic School of Herbal Medicine in North Carolina, where I attended a year-long intensive immersion program. I graduated in 2018 and apprenticed with Matthew Wood for six months in Wisconsin after that, then moved to California for two years where I continued to expand my knowledge of herbalism and foraging with many different teachers and friends. I am currently in Montana at Tom L. Pell's Green University program, learning about simple living and primitive skills and teaching herbal first aid in preparation for a seven-week Stone Age canoe trip this summer. I recently started a blog, which you can find at earthheartherbal.wordpress.com, where I write about herbs, nature connection, sustainability, and more, as well as sharing stories from my adventures. I'd like to share with you some thoughts on receiving, harvest, and gratitude in connecting with plants. When we receive harvest with gratitude and intention, tuning in and being present with the process, we receive more gifts than just the physical harvest. I often receive insights from whomever I'm harvesting. Sometimes a life lesson I've been processing will finally land and click into place, or I'll receive a creative new idea that fills me with joy and excitement, or a poem to write down. Sometimes I see beauty I never would have if I wasn't paying attention. The connection with plant and landscape, and also with myself in the process, is a gift in and of itself. I like to sing to whomever I'm harvesting and talk to them, out loud and or silently. Sometimes I may leave a strand of my hair or give them a drink of water in gratitude. Some people like to leave an offering of tobacco or another meaningful plant. Usually I find that the beings I'm harvesting are excited to connect, and the love and connection we share in that moment is the gift to both of us. There is a difference between taking a plant and receiving it as a gift. The difference is in attitude and mindfulness. When you approach a plant as something you can take because you want to and you can, that is not receiving it as a gift or seeing it as a being you connect with. It's easy to do this unconsciously by accident. When receiving a plant, I like to take a moment to visualize why I want to harvest it and what I plan to do with it and ask the plant's consent. Different people may experience different answers in different ways. Some people experience a yes as a positive, expansive feeling in their body and a no as a tightening or restrictive feeling. Some people hear the answer in their head like a thought. Trust your gut about what you're feeling. Ask in whatever way feels right, but always express gratitude for the interaction. Harvesting plants isn't the only way to connect and be present with them. Just sitting with them, talking to them, breathing with them, can develop and strengthen our relationship. One of my favorite things about connecting with plants is that no matter where I am, when I see a plant I have developed a relationship with, it feels like running into an old friend. I can be in a completely new place, maybe feeling a little uncertain. But then I see my good friend Plantago in the parking lot, or yarrow, or dandelion, and it lights up my day and feels like a homecoming. I think a lot of herbalists can relate to that experience. Humans and plants have a long history of connection. We depend on plants for food, medicine, shelter, warmth, clothing, tools, rituals, and more. Some plants have depended on humans for seed dispersal, harvesting roots to make space and soil available for new seeds to grow, and other tending, depending on the species of plant. Even if you're in a city and nature feels hard to find, you can still connect with the plants that you see. Cheer for the dandelion in the sidewalk crack. Breathe with the tree in the park. Learn the weeds that grow in the in-between places. Of course, we must be respectful and responsible when foraging. Learn to identify plants and always be sure you know the plant you're harvesting. Only harvest invasive or abundant species and educate yourself on at-risk and over-harvested native plants and grow them instead of collecting them in the wild if possible. Be sure you're harvesting in a safe place, one that has not been sprayed with chemicals. Observe the plants you intend to harvest and their environment. 
Are they vibrant? Is there an abundance? Do they have enough to share? Harvest only what you need and will use, and in a way that does not harm the plant or the stand of plants. Leave enough behind for the wildlife. You can check my blog for more foraging tips and ethics at earthheartherbal.wordpress.com. Be sure to sign up for my email newsletter on my website to stay tuned for updates and special offers in the future. You can find me on Instagram as well at earth underscore heart underscore herbal. Thank you for listening. Happy harvesting! Hey everyone, this is Mason with Herbrow again. Uh, just before you go, I wanted to let you know about three freebies that are currently being offered on Herb Rally. There's an ebook by Rosalie De La Foyer on calendula and skin care. There's an 80 something or so page ebook by our friends over at Plant Healer. And there's also an hour long class on adaptogens by herbalist Heather Irvine. So all of that's for free when you sign up for the Herb Rally newsletter. To sign up for the newsletter, just go to herbrally.com, and in the menu at the top, you'll see a button that says Newsletter. Just click on that link. You'll sign up for the newsletter, and you'll have access to the three freebies. So the newsletter also has a bunch of great info in it. You'll get updates on new podcast releases, monograph releases, and anything else that's going on over at Herb Rally. You'll also hear about upcoming events, courses, and anything else that's going on in the herbal world. So thanks again for listening. If you ever want to reach out to me with podcast ideas or anything else, you could contact me at mason at herbrally.com. Thanks so much for listening, and until next time, take care.